horror games are a fan favorite, and the medium promises to keep us guessing and our hearts racing. Here to tell us more about the game is Jack, game producer from the Bluebird team. Thank you so much for joining us, Jack. Hi, hello. Can you tell us more about this game and the Bluebird's team approach to the psychological horror genre? In our first psychological horror that was Layers of Fear, it was the main topic was uh, what can you sacrifice for your family? Can you sacrifice yourself or you, need, or you want to sacrifice yourself for your passion to fulfill yourself? And the second uh, our game, it was Observer. And then uh, the main topic, it was if I'm still human, if my mind maybe is digitalized or if I have robotic parts, where is the line? You know, like in the body horror stuff. Uh, and in the Blair Witch, of course, there was the witch, there was the forest that, uh, uh, that everyone loves. But in the main topic, in the psychological horror stuff, it was PTSD. So for the medium, we have like two worlds in our game, real world and spirit world. We play as a medium that can see this both realities, so we can think that somebody can be a really good guy, but maybe inside it's not. And when you, when you play as a medium, you have a really unique perspective to find out what is inside of other people and on all what happens in different places. For the medium, we heard that you teamed up with legendary music composer Akira Yamaoka. Can you tell us more about that partnership and how that influenced the game? Yeah, he's, he's the best now, of course, for, for composing the music for Silent Hill series. And what was most important for us, it was his work on Silent Hill 2. Because Silent Hill 2, uh, for most of our team, is the best horror game ever. And it's one of our main references when we think about atmosphere in the medium. Because, you know, in, in one way, his music is, you know, heavy, disturbing, oppressive. And in another way, it can be nostalgic, emotional, and melodic. And to bump it up more, we cooperate Akira with our composer, Arkadiusz Rykowski, that create our other uh, scores for our other games and mix these two approaches together to fill up our two worlds and our different points of view. So it was really, it is and it was really great fun. This game is really characterized by those two worlds. Can you talk to us more about the story and um, and these two worlds and how the players can look forward to that? Yeah, so you play as a Marianne and she's a medium and like she can cope with this, that she can she goes or that she can see the spirit world, the second world, but she's like haunted by really one specific vision that she tried to solve. And she has some kind of a hint that the answers can be in abandoned community vacation resort. It's like a old hotel. So she go there and then she need to, you know, find out how the vision is connected with this place and what dark mystery is there. And there two worlds came up because our real world uh, and our real world setting is like it's Poland, late nineties, Krakow. Krakow is a very important city for Poland history. It was a city of kings. And it's, of course, city of Blueber. We have company here. We live here. We, we love the city. Uh, and, you know, it is, it's a free Poland in that time. But because in the 80s and before, we live under the regime, communist regime, and there was like no free free of speech. There was everything was censored. And when you play as a medium, you have this unique opportunity to see even further than normal people because you see the spirit world. And spirit world is like, dark mirror of our world like when all your like anger urges secrets are reflected there so uh, it's also hostile world in some way so only medium can like you know solve some puzzles some mysteries and survive that kind of encounter horror and uh, is really a genre that um uh, can really take advantage of some very immersive gameplay. What are some of the Xbox Series X features that the Bluebird team has harnessed to make sure that you can deliver this epic next-gen title with the medium? Yeah, of course, first of all, uh, it's the horsepower is the hardware. So having that powerful stuff as a foundation for our game, it's, like it's awesome because we spent a lot of years to thinking about this game, how we can fulfill our dreams about it. But we have a problem with the platform. Like everything we thought it's too weak to fulfill uh, our vision. But then uh, Xbox Series X came up and we thought, yeah, 
this is perfect match for us. And now a lot of doors were open for us to, to be like, creative and do the game as we want it. And uh, like the second most important stuff is the seamless gameplay, like, you know, steady FPS and no loading screens, because, you know, you have like immersive horror cinematic experience and you have two worlds. You can travel between them. You can travel between them, you can travel between the levels and the whole, the sto and whole story and not having any, you know, loading screens and any FPS drops. It's like awesome. And of course we use Xbox Series X in different ways, uh, in, in many different ways, but I will leave this maybe more for the future. So stay tuned guys. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for all the fans when I say that I'm super excited to play the medium when it launches on the Xbox Series X. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jack. Also, thank you very much.